welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my gratitude planner and i have some pretty cool things that i want to do want to try out and kind of experiment with so we are in this new month of march which means new opportunities new things to be grateful for and just a chance to really start fresh to be honest um i do know that march is all about saint patty's but unfortunately i don't have much saint patty stuff going on but as you know i love my florals so that's what i'm going to be sticking with So as we get this march under control started and underway, I just wanted to make sure that I was able to like write down things that I was thankful for, you know, ways that I've been a blessing, ways that others have been a blessing to me, just to get all that going. I will be honest, I did fall off with um, actually writing down um, those experiences and those situations that I did come across. Granted, I recognized them when they happened and I was grateful for them at the time, but I haven't been diligent about actually writing it down and journaling about it. So I will definitely admit to that. I fell all the way off. But... You know, like I said, here I'm presented with a new month and a new opportunity to get back on track. And I plan on doing just that. To, you know, remembering my goals for the year. And, you know, you set the goals in, you know, maybe the end of December, beginning of January of things you want to get done and want to do. And February is really... um what they call like a transitional month for all of that. A lot of people fail on their goals for January. And I be the first to admit that I was one of those people. Like I let a lot of things fall by the wayside because some very unexpected things happened. But I'm ready to get back on track and get things started and going. And to do that, I need to have my planners ready to go up to par and I want to make sure that I'm back to you know giving gratitude so you know you can verbally do it in prayer which I do recommend that and then you also can write it down you can do both it doesn't have to be an either or situation on top of it you can definitely, you know, say your prayers daily. And you can write down the things that you're grateful for. Like, it doesn't have to be an all or nothing situation where, you know, if you did one, you can't do the other. They're interchangeable. Um, they work together. So, like I said, I was cognizant of the blessings that did come my way. Very um, but I just let writing it down, you know, and reflecting because truthfully, that's what this is about for me. It's not only just remembering, yes, I am blessed. Yes, I am grateful, but it's the reflection, you know, the daily reflection for the day to say, yes, these things did happen. Um, and this is how they made me feel. This is what I got out of them. So that's what I use journaling for. So while I was grateful of things that happened, I didn't take the time to reflect on what was going on. And I do miss that. So I want to get back to it. There's nothing to it but to do it. So as you can see, this is how we're starting it out. I just want to get this other side going. Ooh, up a little too far. Let's try again. There we go. What is sticky on this side? 
So here we go. I am having the darndest time with this washi. And I have no idea why. But I do have scissors. So I win. <laughs> Basically. There we go. So what I'd like to do, you know, just to because we've been missing. I've been missing for some time. What I like to do with my monthly spreads is I like to just write one thing that happened during that day that really stood out. So whether I was a blessing to someone else, someone was a blessing to me, um, something that happened, you know, an emotion that I was feeling during that day. So it's like if an emotion stuck with me for most of the day, which you would hope that it's happiness. So I'll break down, you know, today I was very happy or, you know, God, I don't know you know, got something that you were looking forward to, something like that. Because, you know, it's not that much space. So that's why I take the time just to write down one thing. So if, you know, sadness overcame me that day, I'd write that. You know, today feeling very sad. Because like I said, it's just a quick little synopsis of what the day had in store and on the weekly spread is where I elaborate on that. So if sadness did hit me pretty hard that day, I definitely write about that to reflect on it, to see what was going on that day that triggered that emotion. Like why this washi won't tear, like I just scratched up my table, gracious. But those would be the things to talk about um, to reflect on. If someone was a blessing to me, I'd write about that blessing. Um, so during the day or on the monthly, you know, I'd write down today I was feeling extremely blessed or, you know, so-and-so really blessed my soul today. And then during the weekly, I'd write, oh, I forgot to go up the side. I'd write about that blessing. I forgot to go up the side. I thought something was looking funny. And not only write about the blessing, but how I can pass that blessing along to someone else. Bam. All right, so we are ready to go with that. Now, I got the awesome idea. So here we are with our foundation of what this month is going to be. And I don't mean to toot my own horn, but toot, toot, boo. It is looking rather cute. So I'm using my Faith and Faith Warrior um, stickers. And if you notice, there's always these pages with these, um, with these hexagons. So I wanted to actually highlight that up the side because this is such a narrow area i always have a difficult time and i'm not even gonna lie i have a difficult time fitting things in there so every now and then you can get like a quote in um that actually fits or it may just be just a little too big something like that so my original idea was to put this quote there and as you can see it fits, but it doesn't necessarily fit. And that's what I toy with a lot. Having things fit that don't necessarily fit. And, you know, you got to make a way. So I decided this time around to use these hexagons and really make something of the area. And we are going to do just that. So I went through my sticker book and I found... Some ones that really worked for me and that I really liked. If I can find them now, that would be great. What the heck? Oh, see, I got all the pages <laughs> labeled out. But it still took a minute to actually find them. How funny is that? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, just a little project. 
nothing too wild and crazy but I just you know want to overlap it a little in different areas of different things working. Let's give it a little space. Ooh. So things I'm loving, things I'm grateful for, all that wonderfulness going on right there. And then I thought it would be really awesome to add a prayer list to the top. So I had these cute little lists that were occupied, but you know, they say different things. So the awesome part about it is that I also have these. So I can go right over it with what I want it to say. And bam, there you go. So. I'm still kind of keeping with the color theme that I have going on, but also just making something that works for, you know, what I'm trying to do. So I thought that'd be really nice to put throughout the month, you know, things you definitely want to pray for, things you're loving, things you're grateful for, things you're loving again, but just also need to remember to be grateful. So you see, I got that going on like that. Hey, hey. So that's that. And then I have some other areas that I thought would really work as well. So like I said, I labeled everything out where I wanted it. And then I just wanna put just a couple of cute little, actually let's do it on this side, cute little reminders. Grace of Paul Grace. Look at that. Commit your work unto the Lord. Do I have this? wonderful saying to start out the month it says hem your blessings with thankfulness so they don't unravel and i was like "Ooh, ooh, i like that and then just some inspo throughout the month just you know things that don't necessarily take up too much space because i like to use the days to reflect So as you can see, grace is kind of the theme going on. This says, be the very best version of you, which I thought was nice. Let's get a little faith popping. But, you know, I liked the idea of sticking with the green theme. Let's put this right there so we can get some verses going throughout. Um, I do participate in um, monthly verses, uh, Bible readings, and then I'm also doing the uh, Bible in a Year program which is not as easy as you think like it does present a bit of a challenge i will be very very honest with you so and i felt and i'm once again being honest i did fall off a tad so what i want to do dang that's too big i think we might have to scratch this one it really takes up a lot of space and i don't want to crowd what's going on there so we're going to put that one back. And because it is St. Patrick's Day, I do want to add just 
a little bit. That's it. All right, so there we have it. Here is my spread for the month of March in my gratitude planner. I hope you guys like it. I know it's like super simple, but it really works for me and for what I need to achieve. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a comment below. If you feel more comfortable um, emailing me, because maybe it may be something a bit more personal, you may want to talk about some things, you may want to pray over some things, I'm definitely here for you for that. Um, you can definitely email me, plansonplanning at gmail.com. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button. Then walk over to that little menu for the drop down. Hit send message. And we can get to chit chat in that way. If you want to talk about planners, if you want to talk about prayer, if you want to talk about Bible study, things of that nature, I'm definitely here for you for that. So in the meantime, in between time, a later days.